everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my review of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. This is book three in the Harry Potter series and I read this um, in re um, correlation with all the rest of the series and released with The Cursed Child, the play script that came out at the end of July. And I just recently finished reading the entire series if you guys have seen my post on my vlog about them. Um, I literally just finished the series like two days ago. Um, and again, I was rereading it for the fifth time. I really enjoyed rereading it, um, and I can't wait to read The Cursed Child. I am lending it out to a neighbor right now, so I don't have my copy on me. Um, but like I said, I really did enjoy this book. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Um, there were just so many things I liked about it. The one thing that I, the major thing I really liked was the plot. Um, you know, we got to meet so many different characters, like, um, Lupin and Sirius Black. Um, and both of them played a pretty significant role in this book as well as in the movie. Um, if you guys have either read the movie or seen, uh, seen the movie or read the book, um, Lupin is a werewolf. He is the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher for this uh, year, and I think he is a super cool teacher. I would love to have him as a professor. I think he would be super cool and super fun to have for a teacher. Um, Sirius Black. Uh, is Harry's godfather. Um, he was held in Azkaban for 12 years, and I thought his, you know, again, to see him was really, really cool, because of course we don't know until about the middle, towards the end of the book, that he is Harry's godfather. And, you know, the interaction between him and Harry at the end of the, end of the book before he has to leave um, is just so special and something so unique. You don't see that in a whole lot of books. So I was really glad we got to see that. Um, I mean, I had seen the movie previously. I knew what happened, but again, it's just mind-blowing to see in the book. Um, what else? I really loved most of the scenes. I really liked the scene where Harry is flying on Buckbeak's back um, during Hagrid's lesson of how to take care of your magical creatures. I think he that was super cool. Um, what else did I like? Um, again, the scene between... Um, Harry and Sirius before Sirius leaves is really cool to see as well. Um, I think, you know, he escapes from Azkaban in the book, and then, um, he, you know, he's on the loose, and they're trying to find him, and it's really, really cool to see. Um, you know, Harry casting the Patronus against the Dementors, it's just so cool. I would love to be able to cast the Patronus. I, just seeing it, picturing it in your mind, and then seeing it in the movie, it's just really, really cool cool um and you know the plot again was amazing um for me uh even though it's my fifth time rereading it i did bring it down just a slightly half star because I, in certain points it was a little bit slow for me but again i really did enjoy reading it rereading it so i did give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars so that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I'll have all my social media links in the description box below. So you guys can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!